Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Brickfeed, this time episode 125. I'm LJ. I'm Exact Trooper. I'm Mesa. And I'm Tenebra Invictus. And this is Brickfeed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Simple enough. Today. At some point we will have a Leo. A Drio. Not here yet. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. We will see. <laughs> He's had his He's time. He's had every How are you all doing? You know, I'm a, I'm alive, kicking. You know, just wish wish my building would go go anywhere. Oh, well, I am actively. Oh, well, uh, yeah, you got it literally look, five seconds look after hey. the names. Let, look who the rat dragged in, <laughs> bro. You got here five seconds after the names. Bruh. Just say it and I'm Leo. Do it. And I'm Leo. You know what? I'm here. <laughs> Yay! You made it! Yay. I don't, we're all here. I don't know why you're here, though. And that's not to say that I don't like you, which, I mean, Bruh. verdict's still out. However, you're, you're Mega Block scum. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, you, need, you, need, right you need to be on the... Block Feed, not Brick Feed. Yeah. <laughs> One man show. What's yeah. your mind, I bought a Mega Construct set. Okay, get We're out. not gonna talk about mega constructs uh, on Ruby, <laughs> man. We only talk about like good stuff here, man. Come on, don't do Got that. It. There's other channels for that. This is not it. This is this this channel's pure, man. You know, we, uh... don't defile it. Yeah, don't don't don't. don't. All right, all right. The, with the darkness, my friend. You know, that's, yeah. Because you know, all then, right. Before you know it, you're not drinking water. You know, you just it's yeah. the dark side right there, man. Correct. X speaks Thank the you, truth. X. Okay, so we got Works a lot. To live of, by. We've got a lot of ground to cover. However, I will ask: Has anyone done any building and/or set purchasing? Purchase purchasing? Why can't I say that and it sounds right in my head? <laughs> anyway, uh, since the last episode, <clears throat> no purchasing, but I'm building the great hidden side graveyard right now. How's that? Been? Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. I, I accidentally mixed both bag one and two together and then sorted it out, so this is a pretty interesting process, but it hasn't been uh, actually problematic so far. Nice. Nice. Fair enough. It's really fun stuff. Thankfully, like it it's only two bags. If it was more than that, probably would be very problematic. Meso, do you have it? I do. Oh. It's really good. Have, oh. have what? The, the graveyard? Yeah. Weird. Oh. I didn't know. I have the uh, the graveyard. The oh, you just had some random praise for it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. uh, Do we know who made the graveyard? Who built it? Well, Envy's building it right now. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. No, no, no. Just you. I thought you meant. Comedian out here. <laughs> What's the deal with building Lego sets? Am I right? Ba -dum -bum 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 -ba -dum -bum -bum <clears throat> All right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's... <clears throat> In that case, let's actually talk about hidden <laughs> hidden side <laughs> right. oh, what, a, what, what a smooth segue. We must have the plugs. Oh, right. yeah, I, I guess that that is <laughs> as a thing. All right. Well, apparently, the graveyard was made by Raph, so I got an answer to my question. That's great. Thank you, Tooth Dominic. He's a design master. Is that an actual title, or is that you just complimenting him? <laughs> or both? <laughs> I don't. I want to know if that like is an actual title. Is that like a ladder you get in there? You know, you just like you start as a design. No, but we do not grant grant you the rank of design up. master. And then you just, just do you get do you get to become like the design god at some point? Can you just transcend <laughs> into godhood at some point if you just make enough? He is actually design. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's fair cool. enough. <laughs> Now what you know, you know what you know what is a great title Lego Master, which reminds me, season two is rumored to be in the works, and I'm just saying, guys, if we don't have TTV representation on season two of Lego Masters, I'm gonna be more disappointed than when you guys fired me, and that 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 better is a gonna, extreme amount of disappointment. Better gonna move on on that. That I'm sure they're already like they're already you know, know that in the works. <laughs> I've heard so much stuff about that show. I just want to see it. If anyone has any idea how someone in Norway can see it, that would be great. Anyone got any ideas? I don't know. I still haven't watched a second of it. I would love to. You know, I'm open to suggestions. Please help me. X. I, got I am you, running X. out of water and food I've, if I don't I've, see I've it. got a good idea, all right? Instead of just watching all right. it, well, let's be honest. All right. All right, let's do that, man. Let's just, let's just Now we just need to make on X it. American. Let's just be on it. 
That's just okay. We're accepting just, applicants. I need I need so, to get my citizenship. How do you do that? Do I just very say careful. the sing the national anthem? Mm, he's, you've got to apply for the next show, Naturalization Master. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, it's like a prove how American you can be. Uh, I see. And then after that, you can apply for Design Master. I can see how I see how all this stuff goes. Like, like, this everything. Uh, freaking Will Arnett oh, comes oh out. Oh my gosh! For your for your next challenge, you're gonna eat. Five hamburgers, and if Ooh. first one to finish that's, that's all five hamburgers gets an advantage in the next round. Man, <laughs> you guys have a tough out here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Actually, the the chat did have a good idea. You could just apply with a VPN. Yeah, that <laughs> is actually immensely <laughs> obvious. I, I, yeah. All right. Another another, uh, another brain fart moment for your boy out here. All right. Thank you. And, and see, thank Pre you for the suggestion. Prentice and patron chat. Elder just wears his mirror the whole time, freaking out Will Arnett. Here's my thing. I pitched this great episode on Twitter. All right. You have a challenge where all the builders have to make their creation while wearing a mask. You call the episode "Masked." builders you know like masked singer and and listen i'm already ready i'm good to go i've been ready you know i've not only would i be ready for that ready for masked singer just without the singing and have been ready for the current pandemic with my mask this entire time but it also doesn't even need to be paid for by anyone because it's already been paid for so it, it's it's it writes itself i'm just saying there you go. There's LJ's pitch. You know, yes. get your uh, get 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 your uh, ideas out. You know, and I don't know, man. I don't know how business works. I don't know. Either. All right. Thanks, X. You tried, bro. I tried so hard there, huh? All right. We're gonna go and get started. Uh, let's start off with Hidden Side because I think everyone actually really wants to talk about it. Yes. <laughs> okay. So. First things first, we've got set number 70433, JB's Submarine, alternatively known as JB's U-Boot. Set contains approximately 224 pieces and is going to retail for, we're going to say, roughly 20 bucks. The set is Indeed. whack. <laughs> I mean, I... I... <laughs> Where is it? I don't see it. Matt, 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 Matt. I got you. Oh, okay. There you go. So, <laughs> uh, I, I have very mixed feelings about it, all in all. Yeah. As I, I like underwater creatures, like sea life and stuff like that. Big into that as a kid, obviously. However, for some reason, this isn't speaking to me. Like, the color scheme is fairly nice. The submarine, I'm not super big on. But it, it's it's a good... Twenty dollar set, but it also there's something about it that just isn't leaping out and say buy me. Here's why, and I'll like I'll break break it down mm -hmm. pretty succinctly. It's because the villains aren't like they. I don't feel they're charismatic enough for the idea of the hero vehicle to like have a conflict or even any sense of like theme. Like when I first saw this, I. Thought the submarine was the ghost villain, uh, I <laughs> just see. just because that's what I'm like most expecting from Hidden Side. I'm expecting that to be the ones with the transparent pieces and the mutations and the visually striking nature, and then the heroes go up against them. But then I realized that that's like a hero vehicle, and the villain's like a shark <laughs> and a <laughs> dude in gray drab robes. And I don't really feel like the uh, the conflict is being sold as well as it could. Mm -hmm. um, coupled with the fact that, I mean, even the terrain itself, like, it doesn't really evoke ocean to me. It looks like a forest set that they already made, just with that one little piece of, like, uh, seaweed or kelp black, or whatever. Black seaweed. That, that's hidden behind the submarine, <laughs> so I don't even notice it at first. Oh, oh it's hidden? It's on, on a hidden <laughs> side. <laughs> no, it's not to say the design of the uh, the submarine isn't isn't good. It is good, and I, I do like how it's kind of propped up on the stand there. That part is pretty neat. But uh, it it does make me wonder if I would like it more if the the submarine was the uh, the villain. 
I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the submarine because of the on the printed part. There's a there's a lame there's a dad joke on there <laughs> that says what sub. Mm-hmm. Hey, <laughs> uh, that's great. I'll put um, a sticker on the side good. to dip or to dab. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> what? <laughs> You're right. I see it. So wait. All right. <laughs> so wait. What sub is is it like supposed to be like what's up? Wait. I assume yeah. so. I, yeah. I would think so. I, I'm actually really surprised it wasn't more of a YouTube reference. Like, make sure to sub. Oh, <laughs> what sub? <laughs> why, why is there like a random old Western character ghost that's also so? Included? So that is if you watch the Hidden Side show oh, story okay. spoilers, uh, <laughs> Jack gets yoinked into the Hidden Side for the second wave of sets, and oh. while he's there, he meets Parker's great, 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 great something grandfather. So that's who he is. He's been on the in the fight against the evil ghosts for quite a while now. Wait, All the right. statue or the guy no, with the, the guy that, with the, guy the, the hat? Yeah, the steampunk looking guy. Well, wait. So he's uh, the dude's great great grandfather, and he's like a ghost. The he girl. Like switch. Yes. Wait, he's a he is a ghost, right? No. Yes. Yep. He's Something a ghost. Like that. Something like that. All right. I mean, I, I honestly. I like the set just because I really like underwater stuff and like to my and I I, I really um, I am a bit puzzled now that it has like a dab thing on the. Thing <laughs> I, Yo, this is a game like, I, like the outfit uh, on the girl is really nice. I like that, and um, I think like the statue is actually pretty cool. Like that's that's the first thing that came to mind. Like not a guy with ropes. He's just like <laughs> a statue that's stuck down there. But I do agree upon the thing that it doesn't really sell it being underwater that great like there's yeah. the black seaweed thing and the black seaweed thing i don't know if we're, we've seen that in black any it, like before but i feel like that that'd be cool color. <laughs> yeah because that that could be used for like wires or something you know for yeah. cyberpunk i really like that theme yeah, yeah you do but, raise a good point yeah, yeah. and then like it, this the sub face is just it's i i just like it just because it's like super silly um <laughs> i will agree I, I i am getting a bit um puzzled though but the the sub on there you know because I, I wanted to like because the first thing that came to mind was just like oh you know making that with a mech would look really funny but ah, well, that, that doesn't go with the sub thing right and then it definitely you have to you have to stretch it out to be like a YouTube reference you know mm -hmm. oh man that's I'm good there's oh, conflicting emotions big, going on with me on this what like but, <laughs> yeah but, but, but on the fin there right is that a dabbing shrimp yes <laughs> Probably. Yeah, that's it what is it a like. trip. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Lego. I I just that's, that's it. That's all I have to say. Is, is that I... a like a the thing on the right? Is that a spinner? I guess no. with the play feature. Yeah, it, it it will rotate for okay. the mo the mobile app. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's cool. Just right. Domino says the black seaweed was made for the Stranger Things set. I reused it and welcome to the hidden side. Ah. Oh. Well, I have, I'm stuff. not too too big of an interest in Stranger Things, so that explains why I haven't seen it before. But that's you cool. can get into Stranger Things, X. It's really good. <laughs> nah, <laughs> man, it's, I, it's... I'm not, I don't like horror. It can be okay. It's there great. Yeah. Season, it's the best season. Opinion. People are I... allowed to like things. <laughs> I do have to agree with X, though. I do like Parker's uh, diving suit that does... has The printing right. is really good on that. I like the coloring. Yeah. Mm. It's like a little shark on there as well. It's great. It's got a lot of cool detail. Mm -hmm. All right. I like, uh... Leo, you have anything? No, that's, that's about it. Uh, my main thing was the question that I okay. already had. Cool. cool. Answered, so it's cool. Good really question. Overall, it's nice stuff. Yeah. I cool. like it. Yeah. I right, guess we're going to go ahead and move on to the next set. It's going to be set number 70434, Supernatural Car, or Supernatural Race Car, <laughs> uh, otherwise known as Uba not to lich. Uh, no, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> That's approximately. All right, un unmute Sakota. Let's hear. It. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> approximately 244 pieces. Is gonna retail for, I'm gonna say very roughly 30 bucks. We we don't actually have like American prices. <laughs> yeah. Euros. So mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm guesstimating. What prices do we have them? British. Uh, Euros. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, I've got mixed feelings about this, again. Ugh, hang on. I don't really jive with this set. It feels like, I, I think I'm just doomed 
to not really like any of the hidden side, like cars or buggies well, they, or anything. There are some great vehicles. Here, here are my issues. This set is a really good set that doesn't speak to me for dumb reasons. And the dumb reasons, like, first of all, not super big fan of this type of car. Like, this never... Hot Rod? Yeah, like, I, I was never big on this style of vehicle. Also, it's very Western. I'm not much of a Western fan. And finally, it is green, but the accent color is Keat Orange. Or sorry, I, I should. Whenever I'm speaking about it positively, I should just say Keat Orange, and then negatively, Chima, <laughs> Chima Yellow. yellow. <laughs> Cheddar Chima yellow. cheesy. Uh, but it, it's it's not that it's bad. It's just. I'm kind of getting flashbacks to <laughs> to Bionicle G2. Also, it's not a color scheme. I, I just look at that and I think, all right, this was cheese. It has now become very, very old left out in the sun cheese. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. That's what my mind associates know. it with. But the build of it looks really good. I think there are some really neat functions hidden inside. <laughs> and <laughs> the knight. Got him the night guy in the bottom right hand corner if you're looking at the screen right now that guy's awesome that is such yeah. a cool looking set i don't know for me this is definitely one of my favorite vehicles that i've seen from the theme and i kind of do like the uh the skull on the front not gonna lie not, <laughs> yeah, not the fair. telling point but i do like how the wheels can uh, fold down and it becomes like a hover car which is seen in the uh show pretty mm -hmm. sure um so Lola gang and yeah. i do like the choice of minifigures as well getting the i really like the color scheme i don't know why but i do <laughs> <laughs> no, it definitely seems like a leo color scheme it does that. <laughs> rust, rust green <laughs> yep. i like the color scheme as, as well i really like dark green i feel like it I like, goes well i like dark green too i just don't like chima yellow <laughs> <laughs> I like it just because it makes it pop a lot. It gives it gives uh, the car a lot of character. I do like um like with the there's so many like cars within like the different Lego themes that are like super oversized. But this one is like going a bit more unique route by being. I definitely like, like this the most ride. out of any of the hidden side cars that they've given. Yeah, definitely the as well. Bar. Yeah. yeah, it's just I don't know. It feels like all this all the sets usually have. I think my problem with them in general is the this location based sets and even like the villain vehicles usually like they have a sense of they belong in this theme and then the hero vehicles could be from anything which I guess maybe is the point yeah but it is the, like it it kind of loses that sense of like visual identity mm -hmm. um you could swap this in with anything this could be a Ninjago vehicle you know, <laughs> it could work out uh, just as well. Give it some like as far as, it, as going Ninjago, but yeah, well, Ninjago, give it some yeah, swords and give it to Lloyd. It could work out yeah. fine. Give it different <laughs> decals as well, and it'll work. It does, but look it looks good. Well. The hover mm -hmm. functionality is really yeah, the hover cool. functionality is really cool. I might pick this one up. I don't, I don't know if that's praising Ninjago or criticizing it for how much it appropriates from other <laughs> themes. Neither. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, part parts junkie time here. All right, two dominoes. You said it's a one times. There's a first instance of something called a one times two round brick. So is this basically like one of these, but like three stacked on top of each other? Is that am I am I making that assumption correctly, as as to what kind of piece that that's gonna be? One and does it have like round. like lightsaber holes in it? Or am I just thinking of this completely wrong? Because that sounds like a really cool piece. A one it's by half two of a... round. Oh, so it's like half a pizza slice type thing. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh. I don't. Oh, so that's what what's on the sides there. I'm guessing. Maybe. Wait. Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> you said. Dude, new new pieces are cool, right? I'm no, no, I, no, I, I agree. You know, I X like is thinking has evolved. It's in black and medium azure. It's one of. That's cool. Oh, it's one of the first first elements that you pitch that actually happened. That's cool, man. I like that. That's Very nice. It's like trivia. a board meeting, you know? It's just like, hmm, this piece. 
do we can we afford it? Is it cool enough? Hmm, maybe. Is it cool <laughs> enough? <laughs> yeah, pieces gotta be cool, you know. It's on the side of the car. All right, because I thought that was just like a, a normal two times. Two. Okay, thank you. That's cool. Thank you for uh, your insight. All right. Also, awesome. now that we're on the now that I've forced the topic on the parts <laughs> thing here, um, I really do like the set as well, though, just because uh, it is intru introducing uh, black binoculars into the mix. Oh. which are incredibly rare. You can see that like attached to like the space guns or whatever. Mm -hmm. Those are incredibly well for details, and they go for like $3 a piece on Brick oh. because they're only... Really? Like, right yeah, so the more we get of those, the better, because they are very sought after, and they like only started recently coming in like sets. Like Usually they're, they're saved for like really really rare details or something but there, it was in like a creator set and now we see it in this as well Two so thank you two don't dominoes know, don't know, don't know they're black. Black. Ah! <laughs> but they look very black here yeah like if you, i if you um i mean they, if you compare it to the roof not not just the roof but the gears because i have technic like the bionicle gears down below mm. And those yeah. do come in black. It, those look black, especially since Let we do have. You, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do have gunmetal to compare it to, and gunmetal and black is a fairly striking difference. So. Oh, okay. X about to be upset. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, it that. It's it's an interesting set. I think that it, it is good. I just don't like it for personal preference reasons is all i see so. yeah i mean yeah as, as far as as far as car, cars go I, I like it man you also get like the the, the skeleton at the front there it's pretty cool in terms of minifigures i like the knight but like the thing about the knight though is that's also what it represents is that like in the later sets we're getting more of these knights and they're like the the ad they look like they seem like the adversaries to to like the to like our main characters and i kind of liked that we had so many different cool wacky villains that was kind of themed to their each of their own set and we're so kind of moving hope, away from that now mm -hmm. I, I hope they don't because that's that's why i liked about hit side you know well i've noticed uh i find like my my expectations often get raised when i look at the box <laughs> and like i can't help but wish that some of these like ghosts that we actually like fight against in the game or in the show were actually like in the sets. Yeah. Like on the cars box art, the guy in the top left with like the goggles, like the big, big fig with like the bandana <laughs> and the goggles. I wish that was an actual like big fig. Um, instead, we just have the night guy who, I mean, is cool. Don't get me wrong. But like I said, the fact that he's like, they, they reuse them later on, it's like, oh. Yeah, not as cool. you know, they they already have uh, a lot of themes where we have reoccurring villains. Yeah, there's a yeah, there's a lot just... of them that show up in the uh, in the show that I wish were actually like things you could collect physically. Well, well, at least they got the ideas. And ooh, Two Dominoes confirms that they are black. And I also like checked on Bricklink. <laughs> Apparently, like for the last like decade. Like the black binoculars have appeared in one set and one collectible <laughs> minifigure. So really? like, Holy um, crap! Yeah, yeah. yeah so to it's, find. it's yeah, and then otherwise, like it's it's just in very ancient old sets. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. Me on behalf of all military builders that <laughs> attend to Brick Fair, we we salute you for <laughs> giving, awesome. giving us those sweet binoculars so they can be used as smoke launchers on tanks and other stuff. But yeah, let's let's move on. Okay, it's a cool set. Move ahead, and this is going to be set number 70435, Abandoned Prison of Newbury. Set is going to contain approximately 400 pieces and go for, we're going to guesstimate 40 bucks. So, I like this set a lot. I actually think that this is a really cool set. The one thing that I thought was interesting to see was it's Cell 1805. Unfortunately... Okay. <laughs> I, I thought that was a set number like it was a reference to something <laughs> so I looked it up on Bricklink and set number one zero, well, 1805 <laughs> is small bucket 
It was a Duplo set from 1995. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've got to go out on a limb. I don't think it's a reference. Uh, but yeah, no, I think this well, is... Well, if it is, it's not that. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. I think this is a really good set. I like the coloration a lot. It looks like a worn down cell. Uh, the yeah. one thing I might critique is that it does remind me a little bit of a Jurassic World like a few of their sets coming out. So I feel a little fatigued by seeing that and that being right on, on the forefront of my mind. However, it's a very minor grievance. Many figures seem great. What is this guy in the teal coat that looks... Yo. <laughs> I, first of all... He looks like the cool new kid on the block. It's here to save the day. I mean, yeah. He's, he's going to be the rocker of Hidden Side. Just come I, along and, I, like, take over. He's got, over like, a teal bubble jacket. I, I was going to... Cool. Yeah, no, I, I was going to say, it looked like Neek if he shaved off his sideburns. Also, <laughs> that that leg print, excellent. But what is this image on his shirt? I don't understand that. I don't know either. Also, I want to... Um... Just want to clarify that the previous set was not designed by Tooth Dominos. I just misunderstood. All right, continue. <laughs> Resume the episode. Okay, cool. But yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to reference. Is it just like a, a just just a design? Is it? It doesn't look like anything oh, that I would be familiar with. I don't know either. He's huh. typing something. I don't know. Like I. I enjoy this set. Uh -oh. Hang on, guys. We are... We don't have any audio. <clears throat> testing, testing. Hang on, everyone. I do apologize for the technical difficulties. <clears throat> Just figure out what's going on. <clears throat> testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing. What's going on? I think the stream might be... Uh, there we go. Muted. Upending. There we go. No, In we're... before we've been muted this whole time. Here, <laughs> here. Can you guys this hear me? stream kill? Question mark? <clears throat> <laughs> Where were you when stream was killed? <laughs> oh, okay, we're 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 back. Okay. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> yeah. I so, what are you getting at here, uh, Massa? That that's a cool recolored that was like a year ago or so. I didn't realize the perpendicular piece was uh, had been in black. Um, the tri technic piece, look at the fingers actually connect to. That still looks like it's in gunmetal. Yep, definitely. Yeah. So, and it is. And yeah, it is definitely. Feel, feels bad moment. <laughs> um, Tooth Dominus says, he was designed behind my back. I did not know they were going to base him off my likeness. When the content comes out, you'll understand why. It's going to happen. I know. Sneak, I know. <laughs> sneak peek trivia, you know, you heard it here first. <laughs> that, that could mean so many things. This will be the phone that will blast the heavens. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like I, I mean, I... this set looks like it's. But my first thing when I saw this is, oh, it's just a wall, you know. But one of the things I like most about these hidden side sets is the transformations. And as oh, far as yeah. transformations go, this is this is up there for me because it's just it's so simple but effective. You mm -hmm. open the door to view the teeth. You spin the things around, and the claws come down, and then the eyes. It just it works so well, and it completely transforms the look of the set, like. So mission successful. Yeah, that, that's uh, definitely yeah. always been like a highlight of the hidden side sets, like just the little features you can do to reveal the like teeth and all that stuff. Usually, even fun. a set that's otherwise like mediocre for me can be completely saved by a good transformation. So mm -hmm. this one is uh, a thumbs up. Yeah. yeah, I quite like this set just because like it's like more of a like a rusty prison. Like we, you get we get a lot of prisons uh, with uh, city every now and then, but this like this has like the whole um, 
more uh, more realistic color palette that we see a lot from the the other hidden slime, like worn, torn kind of kind of deal, you know, almost almost Alcatraz looking. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, like I've seen worse uh, when it when it comes to just like uh, as as you say, like the the problem with like a lot of terrain. And building stuff kind of just being like uh, like a studio setup or something because it's like a half wall or something. But this looks like uh, a lot more chunky than like normally what you get because you mm -hmm. you actually have like actual prison cells going on here. Yeah. And I'm also pretty impressed all the time considering like this is a set that they have to have like a coherent building as well as it being within like as many pieces for, for like the price point and it also has mm -hmm. to transform like that's a lot mm -hmm. of check marks that you have to like make note of, of and like when, when I'm like mocking a building myself when I have like a lot of functions in mind that like step by step I have I have to just like push away because of some sort mm -hmm. of issue like they, there's a lot of restraints basically that I need to work through to make yeah. these functions yeah. and everything cool so I, I'm, I'm still quite impressed by it, by what they can do like yeah. Yeah, I, I would say, I would like say the, the, uh, the front view kind of doesn't show enough of like what's really there i mean it's like I, I would say there's more depth to it if you like look at it from a different angle than just the front mm -hmm. otherwise from the front you're just like oh just just another wall set like <laughs> I mean, it, it's a good place base like there's enough there's enough areas to put people for a 40 dollar set both in terms of interior space and also the towers you know, on the walkways, like there's enough things you can do with it to make it look look fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's a basketball yeah. hoop. Yeah, I really. Like <laughs> yeah, the basketball, basketball hoop is really uh, yeah really cool parts to usage. I don't know what that round piece is though. I don't know where don't, that's from. Oh, it's it's from Black Panther. Um, Black what, Panther? what's her name? I don't remember. Oh, the the weapons. Yeah, Nag it, Nakia, her, yeah, her yeah, just, yeah. It, it's her. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know what those are called. The rings, yeah. <laughs> those were only produced for that and never again, like the Mjolnir or whatever? Uh, well, they were produced. I, I know that they debuted with Black Panther. And I think oh, we've seen them a I couple times since. I haven't seen a lot of them. So I'm, I'm not too familiar. But yeah, that's cool. And also, I really like the actual door, which looks like some sort of uh, like end of like a cons uh, like construction vehicle or something. Like base, mm -hmm. But basically, like the it's... underside of it is what you're facing. Yeah. So everything on that that you see on the front is kind of built upside down. So like the the use oh. like the yeah the gonna, say, yeah. yeah the T handle for example mm -hmm. is attached to a like one by three uh that's f uh like plate that's flat on the other side but has like a lightsaber hole going through it. It was used for the uh, Uni Kitty like um, underside of Uni Kitty's face to like better connect her to the rest of the body. So that's like I said, there's some neat parse usage every now and then. That's always like to see. So it's, it's, it's an impressive set. I, I like it. Uh, yeah, I think it's cool. Yeah, as Neek said, yep. it's the back of the arcade cabinet from like the oh, that's what recent it is. Ninjago oh. wave. Yeah. Okay. To, me, to me, it looks like a very max security, like almost looks more like a bank vault door to me than a cell door. But either way, it's oh. pretty awesome. That's clever. That's, mm -hmm. Yeah, very clever parse usage. Nice work. I like it. All right. Okay. Ready for the next one, guys? Yes. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold my heart. No. Yeah. All right. So the next one. Dun, 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 dun. Let me go ahead and get that picture all nice and neat. Oh, transition. Okay. So the next one is set number seven zero four three six. Ghost fire truck three thousand. <laughs> The best set <laughs> also being the one we have the worst picture for. Yep, it contains approximately <laughs> yeah. roughly 760 pieces and will retail for, again, guesstimate about 80 bucks. We have uh, we have another like spin around, just in case people want to see that. It's a mm. bit better, a better quality. It's like a seven second YouTube video. Set it to loop. Set it to loop. I thought. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was going to be hard for them to top the uh, the school bus. <laughs> and yet, here we are. <laughs> well, hold They've on. Even farther. <laughs> hold the show, they Meso. Did it. School bus bionicle is a bionicle reference. reference. 
What what did you just Where's say? Where's the me? box reference? Bionicle reference, be darned. How this one's better. dare you, you disgusting heretic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like the bus, but with a mech and Slender Man. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, is that just Slenderman? And I love how they made it like a minifigure, but that's just like stretched out. That looks like the main villain, but like oh, he's Oh, like... oh, oh, that's it. Day one purchase. Day one purchase. <laughs> Why? Wait, it Why? does? Yeah, there's a Bionicle reference. Yep. Yeah. What Down the heck? Down the heck? Down the heck? It has a Bionicle it's reference. It's day one I purchase. If we can... I wonder if we can <laughs> see it in the turnaround. I, I'm, I, like, I, I it, thought it has inside, panels. In, inside the seat? Or, like behind no, the seat? I don't know. It has like, panels behind the seat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Interesting thing though is that like a lot like the 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 cars are a bit like some of them are alright, uh, some of them you know they're they're yeah. And then but like the trucks themselves like like this and the school bus and everything like the bigger like wheel based vehicles are always really nice from hidden mm -hmm. side, you know. Mm -hmm. So this this is a fire truck is really nice. I don't. This is better than the most fire trucks that we get from like actual Lego <laughs> City theme. If you just remove the mech. And the uh, like ghost busting weapons or whatever, you know. Then you just got a really, really good fire truck. I really like the front, like the horns on the top, you know, and like the really meaty front and everything. Like this, this thing's got presence, man. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. Slender Man has mixel ball joints. Constraction's last hope. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are Can we get a Slender Man theme? So, a, a few things of note. Uh, first of all, I do want to ask everyone in the YouTube chat. Could just do another audio check. I'm sure it's fine. I just want to make absolutely sure. You're right. He does look like Ryuk. So, a few things of this. For it's it's very much like the bus in that it is such an it's it's got a lot of presence. Like the bus was definitely the flagship for a lot of the early theme. This certainly feels a lot like the same. The big guy, the big slender fellow is I think exactly what you guys were wanting just a few moments ago, these large ghost figures yeah. to yeah. be put in the sets. Because this is what that guy feels like. He feels like one of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He does have like that sort of that sort of art style that you see on like the boxes and stuff. Right? Yeah. So I like that it looks stretched out. It looks unique mm -hmm. compared to like a big fig let's say. So we got we would have gone on that instead. He's got like minifigure head printing, but on mm -hmm. like a block. I love mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so does does the mech just kind of like stand up from the back, or do you, or is it like an alternate build? It seems like it just stands up. Cause that Cause... is really cool though. That's like a like a two in one functionality stuff. Oh going yeah. On. That's, that's that's. Hit the side. Yeah. You're doing it for me. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. He's now, good. It's doing the thing. The last thing worth mentioning. Is this oh, has cool. this has another reference to another theme. So we now know Bionicle is referenced, which this is a day one purchase, just like the bus. <laughs> Absolute like makes me happier than a pineapple on its tree. Wait, no, do pineapples grow on the ground? I don't <laughs> No, they're on bushes. I don't remember. Anyway. <laughs> there's a little guy. It looks kinda like a block, like a TV screen with minifigure legs. So that is a reference, from what we can tell, to this. Now this is TV, T E E V E E, and TV Meta. is from Alpha Team. Oh no! <gasps> oh, it's the what? <laughs> no! Oh! Dude, that's great. Inside is just man service. <laughs> and I, I love, love it. it. I was about to, that was I was about to say I was like oh he looks like the from the the guy with the pants you know from from <laughs> Alpha Team that's just like a TV and it's just it's literally him man oh. it's him and he's got two that's faces awesome. ooh yeah I saw that on there dude that face oh you can make some cool mocks with that face I I love it. he's so cute man <laughs> this is a great set honestly what's up it makes yeah. me happy this I is really like that little TV. easily my favorite set of this wave. It was going to be that Bionicle reference or no, because it's very reminiscent of the bus, and I love the bus. So, this is a day one purchase. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Maybe in August. I don't know. <laughs> 
So if that's when day one is, if that's when day one is, I, I think the TV thing just cracks me up because before I saw these sets, I watched Nick and Meek stream on Facebook when they were building robots and Meek had so many, or like, yeah, he had so many of these same things or it was just attaching like the legs to a two by two block with the studs on the side. So basically <laughs> the same thing as the TV he had like three of those as like the robot pilot. So it just cracked me up to then look at these sets and then, Oh, Oh, look, there's there, another one. There it is. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. Thank you for keeping uh, TV alive, Nick. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. We want to move on to the last one of Hidden Side? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Just do it. Okay. All good things have to come to an end, you know? Well, hopefully not Hidden Side. I want another wave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It will, it will get canceled eventually because entropy is the decay of all things. Thank you. Oh Set gosh. number seven, <laughs> zero, four, three, seven, Castle of mystery it contains approximately 1035 pieces and will retail for roughly a hundred dollars that is freaking cool so this is easily the most visually striking of these sets because it is a large kind of castle massively impressive it looks like the villain that we saw in the last and this is speaking as someone who a is not caught up in the show if that matters and b just isn't they're just guessing it looks like the big guy from the last set we talked about is here in a minifigure form i think that's the same dude yeah, yeah. i would yeah it looks about the same okay uh is that the batman armor that he's wearing <laughs> or is that sure. new armor entirely uh it looks new to me but i'm not too familiar with batman it's definitely armor. not from ninjago because it's symmetrical <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Accurate. Uh, so this, I love this set. This color scheme looks brilliant. I love how everything is shaped. Meso, I feel like you're really gonna like it because it's very Harry Potter esque. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this thing. Oh, I, would, cool. I, 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 I wish to own this. And the function where it literally just splits apart by the um. It's almost like the arms just open up. It's like, come here. And the face is underneath here, the big old big mandibles. I love it. That is suitably horrifying. Yeah. No, it, um, there's and so much then space. also, this isn't even about the set per se, but it's more just uh, just a comment on the box art. The freaking ghost on the, uh, on the top of the box. Oh. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is horrifying stuff. If that's like the apocalyptic final villain, <laughs> suitably scary. And then here we have Jack just trying to go pew pew with his little phone. Like, I'm very sure that's going to work. Dude, phones are so OP in that universe, man. <laughs> this is like the world ender. Yeah, yeah. honestly, oh this is very scary. This... May, may make a set of that, please. <laughs> <laughs> this, I know that, uh, so Ven, I'm calling him out. Ven doesn't like hidden inside box art. And I can never understand why. This box art is so good. I wish Bionicle had box art like this. Like, the, just depicting a scene. You know? Like, we'd always get... Because it was so character-centric, we'd just get the singular character. And, like, he's shooting off in the background. Or what have mm -hmm. you. But when it came to more than one character in a set, like Karzani... Imagine a Karzani box art that looks like this. That'd be awesome i think that's i love this box art it's very striking <laughs> oh yeah you know like uh, with a lot of castles i set sets i feel like there's there's a lot of just like space that's there just for the sake of like making the castle bigger but i feel like th there's a lot of like uh like uses of big pieces in this set, of course but i feel like there's a lot of uh like it's it's very dense with detail more than a lot of other castles I've seen. Like the front, like um, like looks really good when it's when it's close down, and you know the the main building that you got there in, in the middle with um with like the little banner at the top. You know the architecture that's like looks like a some sort of haunted house, and uh, like the glass on on the side has a lot of detail, and also like the watchtower up there. You know that's just like uh, some old um. Like Slave One Star Wars cockpit pieces, but like yeah. uh, with stickers popped on it to to make it look like a 
I don't know if you could call it a watchtower, like a star tower? Observatory? Star watching? Observatory. Yeah. Observatory, that's that's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, the color the color's great. You know, it's it's light gray, and it's, they, they can make that dark tan uh, tower in the back pop out. You know, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm a big fan. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, my favorite part of the set is the watchtower observatory. It just, you know, it feels like it's like the well, the castle's like all gray, and that's like still <laughs> peeling the paint off based mm -hmm. off the bricks. It's a really good piece of contrast. Yeah, and I really like that. The sticker usage is good, although I feel mm -hmm. like if I had this set, I would probably be bemoaning that fact. <laughs> be like, oh, this is this is a nightmare <laughs> to apply all these stickers. But uh, <laughs> I kind of think the telescope looks like a little flashlight got led, lodged in there, but. Uh, <laughs> not, not too seriously. I do like the uh, stained glass window stickers oh, too. Those, those are, those are really, really cool. nice. Really yeah. cool design on those. Personally speaking, for sure. Yeah, are those stickers? I'm gonna. I don't. I don't know about transparent, but. Uh, I don't know either. Do we have any pictures of the interior as well? That'd be great. I also yes, like that. There's the. Yeah, and I also like that uh, at the front as well. Like, even if you don't apply the the stickers, I love the consistency of them just having, like, transparent blue pieces scattered, uh, scattered through to sort of get that like haunted vibe around everywhere. And you know, there's little mm -hmm. flames in blue at the very front there. Uh, I don't know if I've seen those in that color. And also, just the piece that the uh, Voldemort looking guy that's standing on <laughs> is really cool. I really like it. Like it's, it looks like it's it's not like part of his body, uh, like a torso. Like it's an actual piece on uh, on its own. So like I, I could definitely see someone making something cool out of that, just because you know, just just looks different. This show know? is like uh, online only on the Lego YouTube channel. Walk. It is only posted there, for better or for worse. I mean. I I think that's a good thing that it it's at least posted somewhere in a consistent fashion. So yeah. agreed, it's beneficial. It, it's all in one place for anyone to look at. Yeah, and it's on pause for now, so catch up while you can. Mm -hmm. There's uh, I believe sixteen of them, or maybe I'm counted that wrong. I don't remember. Oh, uh, you got trap door inside and everything. That's cool. Piano. Yeah. Piano. Oh, yeah, yeah. really nice. appreciate it. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's nineteen. It's, it's, yeah, okay. I don't know if the piano has like printed pieces or. or I think uh, it just... does. Yeah, because I at, at first I thought it was just those grilled pieces, yeah. but it actually looked like there's there's an actual detailed piano in there as well. So that's neat. Yeah. So much detail at all these <laughs> sets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the details on point, and I really respect that. Yeah, a lot of functionality and detail. You know what? What more could you ask? What more could you ask for? You know. I like all. Yeah, definitely. All in all, this wave, I think uh, it's hard to beat out the first wave, which just had a lot of really good designs. I definitely think it beats out the uh, the last wave. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely think we're 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 back on like peak peak. Well, it's definitely a continuation of like the last wave. Uh, they all definitely hand in hand, but the second one definitely feels like a transition to whatever this one's gonna be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like it. I think three out of the five sets are excellent. The other two just don't speak to me, but I think they're still good sets. So overall, I'm, I'm very content, and I cannot wait to get that fire truck. You all have done good. <laughs> I, I Lego design. I can't fire trucking wait. Oh my gosh, I was trying to refrain nice. from saying something like that. <laughs> Dear goodness. Uh, LJ pushing the boundaries. Uh, Domino says the candle flames uh, that were introduced for the relaunch of Harry Potter. That's pretty cool. That is cool, yeah. I dig it. Speaking of... Oh, it's time. Harry <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to Harry Potter. We're going to have to make this Farewell, a little, hit inside. Little, little quicker mess, so this is going to be mostly... It's time. Mostly Me you. and Leo got this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you too. You're here. No, I'm kidding. Ouch. All right. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> First one we're going to be talking about is set number 75966, Room of Requirement. It's going to... So it, it's going to contain approximately 193 pieces and retail for about 20 bucks. 
So the biggest thing about this wave of Harry Potter is that we're actually breaking into like the the later books, which it's not like mm. we haven't gotten sets from before, but the fact that they are returning to that, like there's definitely been fewer of them and certainly fewer quality builds than say Hogwarts Castle, the flying car, <laughs> you know, the dragon, <laughs> etc. Like stuff stuff from the first four books has been done to death. So the fact that we're getting like some five to six sets makes me very happy. This one yeah. is very simplistic. It's very small, but considering what it's based on, which is literally like the claustrophobic like mm -hmm. training room, I think it pretty much does things pretty perfectly. I think those I minifigures are, is it Ginny and Luna? I think so. I think it's so, it, yeah. Uh, uh, Luna and, let me, let me and Hermione. Yes, oh, Hermione. Yeah. Uh, Hermione. Well, yeah, yeah. that hairpiece for Hermione, I don't know how I feel about that. I guess, <laughs> I can't, I guess it's accurate. I can't but... tell if it's new or not. It looks new because it looks very similar to um, one that uh, I think of, but that has like some sort of detail on it. But then again, I can't look from the back. So yeah, it might yeah, just yeah. be the angle. So I, I'm torn, actually. I don't Print know. Print just pointed this really. out. The freaking character names on the box. Luna Lovegood TM. <laughs> My oh, yeah. TM. <laughs> <laughs> That's man. funny. Please Leah, how big in Harry Potter touch. are you? Just so uh, we're, we're on the same page. I've mainly watched movies a few times because of my family. <laughs> read the and books. I, I, I will read the books eventually. <laughs> the I books. He's got to read Bionicle first. I'm a I Harry Potter nerd. Uh, I see. So, I, I really like the uh, the training dummy though, the uh, little suitcase one. Yeah, man, I, it's I really great. Like that film. <laughs> Just roll yeah, it like, along. <laughs> yep. Yeah, like like you said, like the it, it's not a very big set, but like in terms of what it represents, it gets all the details that is needed. Mm -hmm. You know, you got you got the ghost animal thingies. That's like a Patronus, I think mm -hmm. it was called. Yes. Yeah, and then you got the training dummy. You got the board, and you got the like secret. Um, you you got the secret passage. Those are all like the. <laughs> The core details of significance yeah. considering the source material, you know. Mm -hmm. So, so I think the, it's a pretty the, um, the what's it called? The little holes are so you can attach to the rest of the castle, correct? So you can build a bigger Hogwarts, I assume, because they're on both ends of the room. They yeah. have that modularity in a lot of these sets. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the connective things. One of the things I really like is if you flip it around because this area is supposed mm -hmm. to be like hidden. Yeah. On the other mm -hmm. side, it's just like a fake wall that has like yeah. a sliding door. <laughs> mm -hmm. really I, I really like that. A I lot. like that. Um, but no, it's, it, it's cool. Like, it's not craziest thing ever, but it's mm -hmm. pretty much a perfect representation of what, it, uh, what it's trying to do. Yeah, get what from. it needs to I be. Agree. I like the, uh, I think it's a sticker, correct, on the panel there. It has the Probably. picture. Yeah. I like it. it it's, it's a really nice, you know, for being a small set, all the detail crammed in is amazing to me. Mm hmm. I think yeah. it... right. made with love. Mm -hmm. you guys, ready for the next? Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let me see where where did it go? Okay. Next one is set number seven five nine six seven. Forbidden Forest Umbridge's Encounter. The set is going to contain approximately two hundred and fifty three pieces and retail for anywhere between twenty five to thirty dollars. I love <laughs> all these. Like uh, I, I guess you could call them giant figs or something. Like the brick built <laughs> minifigures are always yeah. welcome. You know, so character representation. That's like brick built. I always think that's really cool. And uh, this one looks even nicer than the previous ones that we got. And we also, yeah. yeah so I, just that alone, I, I, I love those. You know, just keep making more of those, wherever theme they're in. You know, I'd love to see those in like non-licensed stuff as well. Just because I just think they're really neat and they're really meta. You know? They're very they're cool. cool. <laughs> um, Grop looks odd, but that is the point, I think. Yep. So <laughs> I can't really, like, it's pretty accurate to the movie, which uh, was also just as odd <laughs> and had some pretty, uh, pretty questionable CG. So, you know, all in all, this is, this is pretty okay. I and mean, it's basically the highlight is, is, is Grop. The rest of the set is just a tree. Yeah. So, you know, it's whatever. But, I mean, the centaurs look good. Yeah, we get centaurs for the very first time. So. That, that's a big thing, man. What, man? 
He's got ball and socket arms. He's definitely Constraction's actual last hope. <laughs> Grop will save us all. Constraction. It will rise Here again. Constraction, Harry Potter, <laughs> Giants. Where's my Hagrid Lego? Oh my goodness. The Centaurs are really good. Yeah. Um, I wonder, do they give them names? I can't it is, uh, No, I can't it's just there. Centaur and Centaur. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Spain so and Dorian. Oh, well, whatever. You can't win a ball. And then, <laughs> it's just odd to me because this is also Hermione and like this actually looks like Hermione. And those the, the, the prior set with her is supposed to be like right before this <laughs> or like a little uh, bit before this. Lego. So, what is I mean, he doing? I don't know why they even bothered to change it up, but maybe it's just minifigure variety. Who knows? I don't know. It's cool. The fact that Grob can actually hold a minifigure like yeah. he's supposed to. Thumbs up from me. Would I buy it? Eh, <laughs> probably not. But it's yeah. cool. I just think it's cool that we have Lego centaurs now. That is something yeah, people have been really wanting cool. for years. Yeah, and like now there's an actual purist. And the, the mold looks really good as well for being what it is, you know. So I, it's just like that it alone. Be, like it can be used outside of Harry Potter. Yeah, like that's that. Like it's plain. It doesn't have any like a necessary printing on it or anything, you know. And like someone can ride on on back of it, you know. It just there's people out there that have been wanting like Centaur and then probably and they're just like jumping up and down right now because it's just we're actually getting it. Yeah, Centaur, so, Centaur. <laughs> you never know. You know, some people really like the you know it's out there, it's out there. For these large figure builds, do they always use those hands or? It's so the first time like, I've seen them uh, use them. They usually use yeah. like the little, like a Technic piece that kind uh, of looks okay. like a claw hand. That's what mm -hmm. they did with, um, that's what they did with, uh, Giant, Giant Man. That guy from Wonder Man. Woman and Giant Man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it looks a bit odd because on another angle, it looks really small, the hand. <laughs> it looks like out of place, but it's still fine. Like, I really like it. The, the Giant figures, I, I prefer them over big figs, but you can't do them for everything. And I think they did a really good job with this one, specifically the hair. <laughs> I like the shaping on yeah, that. Yeah, the hair looks really nice. Yeah. But, um, I don't know, the tree, it's just a tree. It's, it looks nice, though. I don't think I'd buy the set. Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, look, I respect <laughs> that. I respect okay. that it opens up, mm -hmm. even though I don't really know why. There's, like, random things inside. It's like, like, there's a freaking <laughs> lantern, I think. Or something that Hermione uses to, like, reach reach out to Grop. But I don't really recall a scene what it was. like that. Or what that's supposed was to it be. A, was it the bank handles with a bell? I think I, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, but I don't think she ever did that. Let me, let me see if I can look it up. <laughs> like, there, there's a picture for this set. And I know this doesn't really matter to people who haven't actually, like, read the books or watched the movie but there's a picture that shows like harry and hermione just like chilling out and grobs like eating food and that most definitely did not happen yeah. <laughs> this, thing that this, is, uh, this is based off of like they almost got murdered by centaurs and uh then got out immediately so what's hermione holding in i don't know I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if i can find it it's uh, a fight bell. handle I think it's the look. I think it's a bike. Pack. And like the only purpose of the tree opening up is to store this mystery object. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Also, a really important recolor here that has never before seen, which I don't think any of you guys are gonna are gonna even like fathom to look at. But um, so it's the bell. It's not the bell. It's um. Yeah, it is. It's a. It is. It is a bike handle with a bell. Oh, okay. Yeah. He he gives it to her so that she makes the sound. Oh, but the actual recolor I was talking about is um, the mushrooms are actually attached to what looks like a dark green sausage. Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah. So now we'll have that for whoever needed that in their life. Delicious is... vomit is it, sausage. Is it dark green or sand? Looks like sand green in this alternate picture. It's a distinctly see, what, different what color. Picture? Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. It looks sand green then. So it, yeah, it will be like 
<laughs> yeah, or he could be a pickle, as uh, as oh, yeah. the <laughs> suggested by Dark Takanuma. Thank you for. Um... I turned myself. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> Where's my Lego Rick and Morty? No, no Rick and Morty. Forbidden... Brick and Morty. <laughs> Brick and Morty. Oh. The funniest well, brick know. I've ever seen says Dakota. Sounds like you never know what idea. licenses Lego pick up these days. Dakota, so, you're, you're up. up. <laughs> if this Lego idea goes well, you know what must be done. Oh no. Please. So, I was sure of it being a recolor if it was dark green, but sand green, I'm actually not 100% sand, sure. Sand, but if you sand. ever want to make a brick built um, Squidward, then you could use that for a nose. <laughs> <laughs> We have gotten it before in sand green. I don't remember what set though. Yeah, because I feel like that. I thought it was dark green, but like sand green, I do feel like we've had before somehow. I don't know why I would remember that, but no dark green, I guess. Rip. Rip. All right. All right. Next set. Okay. So, just adjust the image. Da -da -da. <laughs> feel like you guys are gonna have a lot to talk about with this one. Yes. Next one is set number 75968, Private Drive. Contains approximately... It's <laughs> literally how it's spelled. Private Drive. I don't is blame it? you. I don't blame you. It's, it's Private Drive. Yeah, no, I figured it was Private Drive, but I wasn't going to risk it and sound like an idiot. So I'm just going to say it how it is spelled. Gotcha. <laughs> set contains approximately 797 pieces and going to retail for anywhere between 64 to 70 dollars or 65 to 70 dollars okay here's my thing with this set <laughs> plain and simple this set's incredible yes. it's like a merger of the first two movies Privet drive you have you know dobby and the car with the the bars but you also have the letters flooding in through the uh yep. through the fireplace and the cake from uh, chamber of secrets as well so it's like it, it's really cool in that aspect like with the exception of aunt marge this is basically the most iconic permit drive moments uh even the cupboard under the stairs is mm -hmm. there yeah so it's kind of got everything but it, it, it's kind of an inverse problem that you have with a lot of Lego buildings, usually. Because commonly, what people criticize a lot of smaller scale buildings for is they don't have a lot of interior space. They look really cool on the outside, but they're not really buildings so much as they are like, you know, walls or whatever. This one has a lot of interior space. <laughs> They jam pack a lot into the two floors to the point where you spin it around, and I mean, it looks like a fully functional home. But I feel it's almost at the cost of its outside appearance. Not that it looks bad, it looks very refined, but it does not properly convey, I think, how much this set actually costs. That being, you know, at least 70 euros, so probably $70 too. Like when I saw that when I saw that price, I was floored because I didn't think it was worth that much. And then I spin it around and I see the details and I'm like, oh, I, I guess this kind of is because of all the interiors they managed to fit in. But I don't know. Something about it looks very unassuming, very like smaller in stature from the outside uh, to the point where I probably wouldn't want to pay full price for this thing. <laughs> quite the details. I really like how they did the, um, but it's the a great style. Like, it gives it, you know, um, depth, depth, depth. I don't know how to say that word. It gives anyway, it depth. That, yeah, that, yes. I really it like how they depth. did the uh, the roof tiles. And I mean, this would probably be one of those sets that I, I display backwards so that you see the interior <laughs> instead of the outside. That's what I would have to do as well. Which is yeah. a bit odd. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bit odd, but it, it would look really nice. Overall, I feel like it's great, mainly for the Dobby minifigure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dobby I, I really want, is great. I really want it. <laughs> I can't wait to see it in a thumbnail. Oh yeah, we have to. Uh, I gotta just keep in mind whenever I look at it with a critical eye. Like, yeah, it's it might be a bit small looking from the outside, but the whole point of Privet Drive is it's supposed to be like your run of the mill, you know, standard, boring, well designed homescape. Mm -hmm. um, it's not meant to be anything crazy, extravagant, or huge. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the fact that they convey that look well, I mean, that's the whole point. So, thumbs up. I just probably would want to get it on sale. 
Yeah, I that feel like. A... Go, go, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine. No, I, okay. Um, the thing is, like, it's 797 pieces. I was surprised by that piece count. How they crammed so many pieces into what looks so small. That's the most impressive part, is because they went all in on the interiors. Like, I would never know. Yeah. I would think. I would think this was like 400 pieces. So value wise, I can't really complain. It's literally just for me. There's something about how it looks. If I paid eighty dollars for this, like I would, I would feel like I got robbed, even though I actually didn't. It's a weird mental hang up. <laughs> yeah, for the for the people looking to to get this set piece the most detailed way possible, they pretty much delivered on mm -hmm. that. Yeah. You know, and like, yeah. like I said, I really like the interior, and I also really like the functionality of like just the the letters spewing out from the fireplace. That's mm -hmm. a really, That's really cool, cool function. It's so much better than the old set. It's not even <laughs> funny. Oh yeah, the, the old set is just not even in the same ballpark. <laughs> I, I so. assume the reason that they crammed all of this into the the one house is because they're not they're not planning on making you know part two to this. Probably yeah, not, which would yeah. be redundant, you know. Yeah, because like the you know, only like... the only iconic things from the first one are the cupboard under the stairs and the mm -hmm. letters. Yep. Like there's more to do in the second movie, so the fact they were able to do both is mm -hmm. impressive. Yep. Yeah. I really like it overall, though. Still not paying it for full price, though. It's too much. Get, <laughs> Get hype for the cake. Oh, uh, the cake. Yep. It's all the cake. <laughs> so nice. Such a great, a great cake. <laughs> all right. All right. Are you guys ready for the next? Indeed. Yes. Okay. Next one is set number 75969, Hogwarts Astronomy Tower. The set contains approximately 971 pieces and will retail for anywhere between $90 to $100. This one's very significant because these last two sets are from the sixth book, Half-Blood Prince, which we do not have many sets for. I think before this point, we've only had one, which the next one's actually a remake of. Uh, but I could be wrong on that. So the fact that we're actually getting this is very awesome, even though the set itself, there's been enough Hogwarts models. Like, they, they're starting to blur together for me in terms yeah. of, like, architecture. I look at this, and I don't really immediately... I'm, I'm not immediately struck mm -hmm. by this being any different than the set they made for Goblet of Fire, which represented the uh, the ball even though it is very different because it's the astronomy tower and it's got all the spikes and the, the spokes for the tower. So it's again, another thing of like perception. This is going to be very, very cool when you combine all the Hogwarts parts together, which I yeah. think we already have an image of, but I, I could be wrong on that. I'm not sure if it's I, official. I can't verify that it's official. That's the problem. Yeah, I've seen it, but I don't know if it's a leak or not. So I don't know if we can talk about yeah. it. But you, you guys really, really awesome. but that in mind, you guys really should be buying the Harry Potter sets from the last wave because they're about to go. I'm pretty sure they're pretty soon gonna be out of production. So if you want a shot at that, that would be the time. I would encourage it. The set's really cool because of mm -hmm. all the minifigures it offers. It's a, it's got a bunch of because it's another party set. Like this one's mm -hmm. about. Uh, Slughorns, you know, slug club parties <laughs> where he invites all the Hogwarts like top students. So everybody's dressed up in formal wear, literally just like the last set they made yeah. for the party in the Goblet of Fire, which is yeah. probably why this feels so similar. Yeah. But there's a lot of minifigures who were not present in that set Malfoy, Neville, Luna, even Lavender Brown <laughs> and Rod and Hermione and Harry. And then, of course, the man himself, Horace Slughorn. Serving Which, out his, his, his I, I can't I can't see a TM next to that one. On <laughs> Everything else, oh Lavender Brown, also no TM. I wonder why they don't have TM. <laughs> I guess they're just didn't not that care. important. Didn't care one book, Duke. No, didn't care. The, and there's, um, there's just a lot of cool party details here. Mm -hmm. I like. Yeah, the, I uh, love the chocolate uh, fountain as well. It's like the um, like slopes used to make it uh, look like they're. It's like. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you even call it? I don't know, like the red that you have over a table for it to look nice. Um, I don't Piece of fabric. Grapes. Yeah. Tablecloth? Tablecloth. Table yeah. 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 You could say I only know it in Spanish. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's nice. There's a lot of cool details. I mean, like, like it kind of blends in with um, the architecture of the like previous Hogwarts sets, if you're not like a super diehard Hogwarts fan. But I... <laughs> 
like if you put it next to the other ones, I do love that they like they actually have new functionality and that like you can collect all these sets and in the end just have this huge yeah. minific you know, Hogwarts. I think that's yeah. insanely cool. I love mm -hmm. that. I like the the little um what's it called thing in the observatory area. The one with the globe in it. I don't I don't know the name. Why am I blanking out so much on names? <laughs> But I, I really like the build for that because it seems to be a ball joint. Then it has the ring from Black Panther, and then it has a bigger ring around it. Yeah, uh, I see what you mean. Yeah, that I is a really, really like cool that. detail, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that shape that it creates. And the telescope below is also really cool. I feel mm -hmm. my favorite part about all this is Draco Malfoy like angstily staring out of the uh, <laughs> out of the top there, which is very appropriate. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> considering the book, I like it a lot. They did really good with this one. Um, so, would, are these the plants that that scream, or are those different ones? These are not the plants that scream. Okay. These are regular That's, old plants. Just regular old plants. <laughs> All right, that makes regular non-screaming pants. <laughs> pants. Yeah, pants. Non-screaming pants. <laughs> yeah, those are the best type of pants. All right, Elge, we're good for the the grande finale. Uh, yeah. There are Wait, two more sets. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Two more sets. So you're Two. not ready for the grande finale. You haven't got Saved it. Out. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> no. No, no. Okay, mean? no, you're right. I'm fine. I will. <laughs> All right. Next set is going to be set number 75980, Attack on the Burrow. Set contains approximately 1,047 pieces and retails for a price I don't have on hand. This oh set goodness. is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. they were able to do what I didn't think they really could and what they haven't really before. Hmm. Because the last set was kind of eh. They captured how like unsteadily built the burrow <laughs> actually is. Yeah, the subtle tilt. I love tilt. that. Oh it's my so goodness. So cool. <laughs> so the top part just tilts back and forth. It's really yeah. great. Crazy. Oh my gosh. Um, that's basically like the the architecture is basically the highlight. It's so abnormal, it's so distinct to this set, and it features you know an interior design as well mm -hmm. with the multiple floors. It's great. Um, it looks like the flame pieces have been introduced according to the patron chat, like molded with transparent black, mm -hmm. which is also awesome. <laughs> Wait, if what? anything, parent black flames. Where? What? Oh, I see them. I see them. I see them. That's cool. I like that. And we've got literally the entire Weasley family here. I think, or maybe not the entire family. Majority the important of... ones. Yeah. <laughs> maybe wow. not the older brothers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> the main characters are here. Uh, the only hang-up I have with this set isn't really a problem with this one in particular. More so with the set it's based off of, because this is a remake. Like, this is a controversial set to even exist because it's technically a non-canon scene. Like, it was only in the movie. Uh, this set does not exist in the book. <laughs> um, so the fact that they've not only made a set of this once, but they're remaking it again, it kind of speaks to, I guess, the reason why this set was created in the first place, which was that there weren't enough action set pieces in the Half-Blood Prince book. <laughs> So the movie was like, we need to have the Death Eaters attack the Weasley's home for no reason. And so they do it, and then they leave, and they don't mention it again. <laughs> and I guess like I was like, yeah, I mean, if we need to make Half-Blood Prince sets, this is what... Uh, this is the only thing we can do. This is the only thing we can do, because otherwise they have to show the scene where Dumbledore gets like almost dragged under the waves by a bunch of zombies, which might be a little dark for a, <laughs> for a Lego theme. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And yeah, I was I was completely wrong about the Weasley family. We not only don't have Fred and George, uh, but we also don't have Billy, Charlie, or Percy. <laughs> so we literally don't even have half of the Weasleys. Now, of course, Percy isn't going to be this. Large. This is Harry Potter, not Percy Jackson. Oh my god! Okay. It's it's weird to think that the only th like there's there's a two hundred and fifty piece difference between this and uh, the OG and yeah and the, no and the um, the little house set that we just ah, saw oh. earlier, yeah, like the 
Ligusterweg Le Four. I don't know how to pronounce it. Privet like Drive. Privet Drive. Privet yeah. Drive. I was kidding. On yeah. Russian. Yeah, that one. So it's like you know, this one's just huge in comparison. Just, just, uh, it's just food for thought. I mean, they pack on that height and they do it really well. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, <laughs> this this looks really nice in terms of like the people that really wanted the Weasley family's house. Like, yeah. I, I do like that they're going back and like revisiting a lot of like set pieces that have either not gotten the justice they deserve or they haven't existed in the first place. And it's got like seven rooms plus a top floor porch too, so the detail is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the living room at the bottom, man. Mm -hmm. It's just really nice. I'm looking at like at the, at oh, the yeah. back of the box. There's just, there's there's so much interior in here. I, I like that. As a book fan, it feels like almost sac like sacrilege. <laughs> but if there was one set from this wave, I would probably get it. It would be this one. But the lobby <laughs> doesn't exist. How dare you prefer a movie set to the books? <laughs> People hate this scene, dude. And I mean, I agree. I do as well. But it's a good set. Um, so yeah, yeah, I cannot be happier with it, honestly. Cool. So now we can oh, move on to the last one, which for a lot of people is the highlight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Last set, set number 75979, Hedwig. The set contains approximately 630 pieces and will retail from anywhere between $35 and $40. Construction owl. <laughs> Mess up. Oh, yeah, Bionicle is <laughs> back. This is not a construction owl. This is a form, form, a, form a headway. <laughs> <laughs> it's got gears, LJ. It's yeah. a construction owl. Mess up. You're right. It does have gears. It's technic. Yeah, I think it would be more technic. Shut your face. <laughs> Stop giving the people false joints. hope. You turn the wheel on the back there, and then it flaps its wings? It seems so, yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. I love this. Mm-hmm. The wings are just so intricate with all the slopes. Former's last two. There's so many... <laughs> <laughs> and the head can tilt too, which yeah. is a minor detail, but it helps a lot to make it look alive. It's cute. I like it. This this set I, I do I do want. I do want this yeah. set easily. <laughs> it's so unique that they decided to do this. And yet such a no brainer, it makes me wonder why they didn't do it before now. They didn't have but, the technology. <laughs> honestly, though, kind of, yeah, the building has evolved so much in terms of the detail. I imagine if they tried to do this 10 years ago, it would be horrible. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> like, remember those Technic Star Wars figures? Oh, let's talk about them. If, <laughs> if, if they made this right when Sorcerer's Stone came out, oh, geez. It would probably be terrible. Probably would not uh, have the same appeal. Yeah. So suffice to say, I'm glad they waited, but I think I literally think this is basically perfect. I can't think of a single thing wrong with the set. It's awesome. I really like the head, yeah. It's really unique as a set overall. It's got the accuracy. It's got play features, but it's also a display model mm -hmm. with a cool podium, and it's even holding a freaking letter. Literally, they didn't have to do the letter. They didn't need to do the letter, but they did the letter anyway. <laughs> Prove a point. We, we can do it. We can make a few stickers for pretty <laughs> whatever those are. Uh, it's cool probably two, two stickers. Yeah. Well, three because of the uh, the seal. Is the seal a round yeah. piece with a sticker on top? It, may it be looks actually. like. Yeah. All right. It looks Fair like enough. a round piece. Uh, I don't know if it's a sticker, but it definitely is a flat two by two tile. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah. Round. Okay. From a side yeah. view, it looks like it is very much a sticker. But overall, yeah, it looks very nice. <laughs> yeah, honestly, though, I have too much to say other than that it's just a really good set. It's difficult for me to talk about a set that's perfect, so good job, <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm Amazing. not joking. <laughs> UCS yeah, it's hour. not... It gets, like, the look and everything across, and it's not, like, a huge set either that you get with a lot of these, like, display... Mm -hmm. um things that you get in uh like license and the fact that it actually has a function as well like it just there's there's this is this is a very good set i i will i'm probably gonna end up buying this as a gift to someone that really likes harry potter at some point like me it, uh, oh my god it, reminds... <laughs> <laughs> it sort of reminds me of the same vein those um star wars like buildable bb-8 or porgs are but not as expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of kind of. Oh, yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. yeah, 
very pleasing to look at. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. That's it, correct? I think that's it. Yeah. That's yeah. everything. Sweet. Uh, X, did we want to touch upon that set? The yes, comment set? We gotta keep oh boy. This theme, my man. Here it comes. Okay. Hit it. Alright, so the set that we are discussing today comes from uh, Green Tornado, which posted this set in the last video. And remember to, to post a new one <laughs> um, in the comments for us to talk about next time. So the set number for this is uh, 69. 69. Nice. Bruh. <laughs> Celestial Stinger, and uh, you know, I I just really like space. Like this is, this is um, like that we've we've uh, we've seen a lot of uh, of set like a lot of the sets that pop up are some that like have not aged very well. I feel like this one, <laughs> there's a lot of outdated stuff, but like uh, on this obviously, but I get I like the visual just spectacle i guess you could say is just really nice here and this is something that i really miss when it comes to like space like, like that's yeah it looks blocky like it, you know it is old but everything they're trying to do with the design language i feel like i still think is done well even by today's standards even better than today's standards because space obviously doesn't really exist today so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the amount of transparent like lights and oh that's an entire piece they have yeah. What what piece are you referring the, the to? Front, yeah. The, wolf the front, yeah, the front yeah, is that's... like uh, like you push the buttons and it made sound. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. That's yeah, cool, I guess. Uh... Yeah, this came this came out in, like considering all the sets that we've looked at, this thing came out in nineteen ninety some. Was it? Uh, uh, it's nineteen ninety something. This one, this right here. What? It's nineteen ninety eight. Yeah, yeah. That's when I was born, man. So it's over twenty years old, and it's <laughs> still age. brighter and more colorful than. <laughs> And Which came out first, the set? No. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. No clue. I, I always forget how old you. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and also, like the um, the helmets are transparent. There's those are just oh. normal like minifigure helmets. And I don't know if we've had transparent helmets of that mold since then. Like we don't really see much transparent helmets at all. <sighs> So you know, yeah. there's that's there's something there. You know, I just I just like the 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 visual flair. You know, of just being like space, a lot of transparency and bright colors and stuff. And like the the most of the stuff that we get space nowadays is like uh, realistic NAS, NAS, mm -hmm. NASA 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 NASA. I don't know how to pronounce NASA? it. Right? NASA? I can't even NASA. 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 It's NASA. such a weird word for me to say. <laughs> my, my, my native tongue. <laughs> yeah. I miss I I really like Bulk said I I miss sci fi space themes, man. Yeah. So it's just one just day it'll come back. Up, one day it'll come back. Really oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Hope yeah. So. yeah. Just just space space and sci fi with some sort of neat flair to it, you know. Bring back Lego Space twenty twenty one. Either bring it back or just make Ninjago go up in space and fight uh, <laughs> No, and probably fight, give it another year. That's what's yeah. next. Probably They've already been to space. It wouldn't be that much of a stretch. Really? Oh, okay. yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't know that it, they, they actually have space based off of it, but in the show. Darn. <laughs> the point being, they've already jumped that shark, so they can just go back and do a few summers. Yeah, yeah. Oh my! Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's it. Um, thank you. That's it, man. That, I like it. it. So th thank you, thank you, Green Tornado, for your the nice set the in nice the comments. Set. You know, and as always, just uh, feel free to put any set number in the comments. And the one with the most thumbs up, we'll discuss it on uh, on the next episode. You know, That's epic, epic indeed, epic. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyone got any closing thoughts on uh, set sixty nine sixty nine? I got. Not really. Nice. No. Nice. No. Just not nice. really. It, I mean, it, when it it's... comes to. It's a striking color scheme, and I really like how of its time it is, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's a good set, just that it kind of feels like it's one of today's mocks or something. That's something. <laughs> but, you know, that's just how it goes, as tech building techniques get better and better, and, like, part 
uh, more parts become available as well. Mm -hmm. I will say not necessarily about the set in question, but more about Lego's summer 2020 offerings. I think that all in all, what we've talked about, Ninjago, the little bit of Star Wars we've seen, Hidden Side, uh, Harry Potter, it's all like really good. I really, I think yeah, there's a lot of good year. quality sets from all the themes this year, I'm feeling. Yeah, there's there's really one good. exception that uh, we have not talked about so far, and it's not to say we won't in the future. That's superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know oh. what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing with superheroes, but um, I guess we'll dive into that. In the next not episode. really. Maybe maybe next episode, a little <laughs> teaser <laughs> things to come because I think there might still be some sets that haven't been revealed. So we're kind of we're holding off, but uh, so far not that impressive. So yeah. uh, maybe you'll see them in the future, depending on if they redeem themselves or not. <laughs> but for now, I think we can end it. Yes. It's like that, that one meme where it's like the, the different grid of pictures is like, thank you for being awesome. And then in the middle would be the superheroes and it would be not you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah. It's not like they're horrible. They're just very juniorized. Like they've, that's fair. They've yeah, aged they down weird. everything and they're so, basing it off of like amorphous stuff. So it's not really appealing to anybody in particular. Either way. Let us segue out with some plugs. Uh, which I guess we just totally forgot. Well, no, we what didn't we forget. But we got sidetracked. Yeah. At the beginning. Make sure to head on over to the TTV message boards at board.ttvchannel.com. You have to be 13 years or older and read the rules, and you can have a good time. We're currently ramping up toward the first of many canonization contests for the Bionicle Generation 1 story, which are going to be starting on June 1st. Make sure to then head on over to the Patreon at patreon.com slash the TTV channel where you can donate as low as a dollar a month to join our Discord server and our Minecraft server, which you can join and explore both the islands of Matanui and Voyanui. Now give me a second, I need to find something before I keep talking. All right, there we go. Additionally, head on over to Twitter at the TTV channel for updates on video releases and stuff like this, podcasts when they're going to happen. And finally, the Bio Cup is starting soon. Bio Cup 2020, where only the strong survive, according to what I'm reading here. It starts on May 12th, so in two days from the recording of this, go head-to-head -head with the best of the community and compete to earn the title of Matoran Universe Champion. It is a construction contest, so definitely check it out on Flickr. It's Bio Cup 2020. <sighs> That's it. Ooh. I'm yeah, tired. Woo. Yeah, I, I, mm -hmm. I, I can hear that, but you're still you're still holding <laughs> it for all of us. I'm holding on. It. Yeah. All right. Why is everything so heavy? <laughs> you guys good? Anything else? Yeah, yeah. good. All yeah, right. In that case, thanks so much for watching. This has been Brickfeed episode 125. I'm LJ. I'm Six Rupert. I'm Meso. I'm Envy. I'm Leo. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for watching. We will see you again. Another time. Farewell. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, hidden side sets. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, here.